Hey guys, it's Versailles. I'm here with a tutorial with a couple of friends of mine asking what, how to configure their PS3 controllers onto their PC, their Windows computer. Uh, so basically what I did was I downloaded Better DS3 and the DS3 tool. Um, I have the websites up here. Let me click download here. Download here. I'll put these up on, uh, on the description, the links to them. They are virus free. I downloaded them from this website. So you guys don't have to worry about that. So once you once you got that, you open DS3 tool. And click yes. It's gonna pull up this very Ah, uh, what component? Yeah, it worked correctly. Don't tell me that. Yes, open it. What are you doing? Okay. So, ignore that. You open this. And it's... It'll show your... PS3 controller right here. And you will put install all. And it'll install all of the drivers it needs to fool your computer that it's an Xbox 360 controller. So, you know, after you do that, it's done, and I already did this, so I don't have to do this. Close that, and then after that, after the drivers are installed and everything, you run Better DS3, and you can see how it picks up my PS3 controller, because I already did the steps, and so I already have this and stuff, and you would click New, and put it x input and it'll pull up this little menu right here and you can configure the buttons that would go to an xbox 360 controller but since i don't have one i don't know what the exact buttons are or what they do so basically i just click autofill and boom it'll it'll fill in everything so you would save profile um i can't save profile because i already i already have it so I, I'm just going to close out of it and you click and you can name it what you want you can control panel and then open this and press OK and you can see that my PS3 controller is working and you can see all the buttons light up I am pushing everything on my on my controller. You can see that the buttons are moving and whatnot, and I apologize for the noise. My dog is walking around because he's, he's a weirdo. So, click OK, click OK, and then you would hit Apply. And that's going to apply the settings and it's going to save it. And you can edit it, delete it. I just keep this up whenever I'm playing games. I just keep it up and just minimize it. And then yeah, and then you would open up your game, like, you, if you want MapleStory, open up MapleStory. You can configure it that way, or if you play Warframe, like me and my buddies do, we play Warframe. I use the controller because it's a lot easier than the keyboard. So, that's that. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't understand something, comment, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.